Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. Our today's topic on SAP Business Technology Platform is to build CDS views using cloud application programming model. So yes, CDS views are everywhere, whether you talk about SAP S4 HANA or native HANA development. And also now with cloud application programming model, we can build the CDS views. Basically, the main advantage is to showcase the data in a aggregated form or perhaps in a non-normalized way and give a better abstraction of data layer to the UI as well as service layer is the main use case for building CDS views. So what's our use case for today for building a CDS view? Let's talk about that. So what we plan to do today is to build a CDS view which shows me the list of all my products which are being used in different product items. So typically we have a purchase order table. And for one purchase order, we have multiple line items. And each line item refers to a product. Yes. Now what my goal is to find out all the products and the total sales per product. So for that, what we will do is let's say product A has a total sales of two thousand product B has a total sales of six thousand and I want to compute it like this now in this case I would want to just create a CDS view which involves my product table as the primary table and this as a dependent table for line items and I wanted to aggregate the data and for this we will utilize the already created association at data model level now let's go ahead and see this so I will switch over now to SAP Business Application Studio. And in this, I will start creating our view. So let me define a new view. And I'll say product view subscribe. And I'll say as. And now I'm going to select data from my products table. So select from master dot. And then we'll choose data from product table as a primary table. And let's call it as as broad. And now as a next step, we will just fetch the information about first, let's say for example, product ID. So I'll get product ID as product ID to be displayed on the screen as the name. And then we will get maybe the text table join, which is a association to get description of the product as description. And finally, I will just wanted to sum up all my items. So we will again start parenthesis and put a select statement utilizing the relationship between the product and the items. So let's say select from my transaction table and then I will use purchase order items as a and now I'm going to round off my total sum of purchase order gross amount. Yes, so let's round it up up to two decimal as a new column as sum where I wanted to use the join condition and as you know that product GUID in our database design with node key is compared with the product table uh, node key. So that's the relationship which we have defined in our underlying data model. So if you just uh, remember our our class on data model definition in CAPM. We have created this product table with the node key as a key field and then we have a transaction table for PU items. So those who have not attended my CAPM training, you can go ahead and subscribe this course on SAP uh, business technology platform with anubavtrainings.com so that you will get a complete idea of building this end to end application. In this demo session, we are just uh, focusing only on this small feature of building the, uh, the view. So let's call it as PO sum and as you know, we need to also mark it as data type. So let's call it as decimal 10 of two. So that is the end of our view definition, the CDS view. Of course, you can see we have taken more complex examples during our CAPM training with mix in approach to build more complex CDS views. But this one is a is a fairly simple example. And let's expose this as a as a service now. So I will switch over back to our service layer and here I'm going to expose this as a as a service. So let's do that and I will call it as entity projection on and now I'll call let's say product sales on 
my CDS view dot and recently we've created this product view subs subscription. Let's save this up and it's time to redeploy. So let me run my deployment to deploy the latest data models. And now we will do a CDS watch in Business Application Studio to launch our service layer. So by default, the Capam expose it as a OData v4 service. I have also shown in my next video how to convert this v4 service to a v2 OData service just in case you wanted to uh, feed this data to a analytic application. You could do this pretty easily. And now these are my service endpoints. You can see we've got a new service endpoint uh, over here for our newly created uh, sales product sales. So let's switch over back and you can see product sales here and I can switch to the service and voila you can see it gives me total sales per product and with its description nice. Yes. The next step is perhaps to also see a quick Fury application preview, which is generated by the Capam framework out of the box. So we can switch over to this Fury application and there we can utilize the full potential of cloud application programming model. You can publish uh, a Fury element application with a list report to also cloud later point of time. And yeah, that's what you get out of the box. So let me add all my columns and I can reorder my columns perhaps by moving this on top and say okay and there you go you can now see the sum of total sales for all these products and the best part here is we've also added the language specific description basically the text table in the capom we call it as aspect so we have added the aspect for also maintaining the language specific descriptions so uh, all this data will be translated also into other languages as well. So that was a quick overview of how we create a CDS view in cloud application programming model. Uh, for detailed training on Capam, you can always go ahead and subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give, th give a thumbs up and share, like and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos like this. And I will see you into the next video.